Hello, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy, and welcome to another exciting adventure in MOD Unboxing. Today we got not one, but two booster boxes of Unstable. Save on time, I opened up the other one already. There you go. Can't even fit that all into the frame. Anyways, I do not have a lot of room to work with. <laughs> So, you may ask me, Mitchell, why are you opening up two booster boxes of Unstable? So, I'm currently in the process of making an Uncube set, which is a cube set, but it's all... Unstable is going to be the bulk of it, and then the unglued, unhinged, and maybe a couple of the uh, cards I feel are would work well with the unstable set would be included into it so that way it's a very uh, un uncube basically and I need a lot of cards so that's why I bought another booster box of unstable and another so <laughs> in fact I need enough cards to make a not only am I making the uncube set, but I'm also going to try and make a very various amount of commander decks using unstable uh, stuff. So I think that would be that would be really cool. Problem is getting the cards, and I find the thing that the reason why this set is so expensive is because of the the lands. If it wasn't for the lands, I feel like the set wouldn't be as expensive as uh, that stolen frame, right? Okay, let's see what we got. So we got a... Bear with me, I'm trying to work around both my lighting source and... Because the tripod's basically <laughs> right in front of my face. Wall of Fortune... Ground Pounder, Numbing Jellyfish, Dirty Rat, Work a Double, Hazmat Suit, Used, Mad Science Fair Project. Now we are in the Uncommons. Side quest. Clock of Doom. Love that card. And Kind Slayer. As a rare. We got a nice full art mountain. A neutron network for uncommon contraption and a buzz buggy. And a foil angel flying token. Awesome. Looks like we got a foil. Okay. Got a squirrel dealer. Shaggy camel. Magic Wood, Oist Hireling, Maniac, Sacrifice Play, love, love the art on that one, Dirty Rat, You Dirty Rat, Target Minotaur, Slaying Mantis again, Robo, First Half, Old Fashioned Vampire, a cramped bunker is our rare. Planes, full art. Dual doom suits 
is uh, another rare uh, contraption, sapsucker, and a foil note. I actually uh, I forgot. So you you get a uh, the foil token in basically every single pack. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot it's the the random uh, foils is the is the more rarer aspect of uh, the unstable sets. Okay, so you got eager beaver. Chivalrous, uh, oh, I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> Numbing jellyfish. Stenian Moog. Hammer Helper. Go to jail. That reminds me, I really want to make a Monopoly themed Magic the Gathering deck. <laughs> One of the secret base. Inhumiac. Monkey. Clock Napper is our rare forest. Beautiful as always. Lacquery Recycler. And a top secret tunnel and a construct. Whoosh. Yeah, so for the commander deck I definitely I'm gonna build one for each uh of the orders or the uh, groups, guilds, yada yada. So that's obvious. And then I want to definitely make one for squirrels and one for yeah, a <laughs> commander deck. That, that's just the uh, the creatures that are in half the uh, augment creatures. And then try to pick up speed. Man, willing test subject, adorable kitten, it that gets left hanging, chipper chopper, finder keepers, feisty stegosaurus, amateur atar, Pharos the musical version. That's another thing. Is is what's. A little bit annoying is the variations because it doesn't say how many different versions there are because there's some variations in the set. Like this card, for example, <laughs> very cryptic command. I think there's like six different versions. Each one has like a different different abilities, and I think one or two has even a different art. Trying to get all the variations is going to be very very <laughs> hard and annoying. So you got a island. Beautiful as always. The jamming device. A dictation quill 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 graph. A little bit of tongue twister. And then you got a foil dragon token. With the advertisement for Dungeons and Dragons. Which reminds me, I'm kind of excited for the uh Dungeon and Dragon set that's replacing the core set this year for Magic the Gathering, but at the same time I'm like, mm. yeah, I got, I got, I got it. I don't know what I think of it. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Probably won't buy any boosters. I'll just probably just buy the singles I need. I can open this. Look out, it's an ordinary pony. Do. 
noble or mental, the staff of the letter mangus, spocketed spocketer, squirrel powered scheme. Ha <laughs> rules lawyer is our rare, which I think has the most amount of text a magic card has ever had. I could be wrong on that, but it definitely looks like it. Goblin Slingshot, so we got an additional rare for the contraption. And then we got Headbanger. And a Foil Squirrel is the other side. Trippy, eh? Yeah, that's, that's how easy it should be to open up these things. <laughs> Numbing jellyfish. Really epic punch. First half of the hummingbird. Detective again. Mook again. Feisty Sega Sewers again. Chipper Chopper. The extremely slow zombie, which is me every time I do an unboxing video of Magic the Gathering. I go too slow. Gotta speed things up. Half shark, half. <laughs> And oddly uneven. Destroy each creature with an odd number of words in its name. Destroy each creature with an even number of words in its names. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, as it should be. Mountain. Fud for duds. Boom flinger and goblin. And as the back. Featuring Scratch and Sniff technology. <sighs> Smells like ads. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good year so far. Hopefully 2021 has been going great for everyone. And nothing bad's been happening. <laughs> Multi-headed Hydra. Classic. Got an ordinary pony. Wall of Fortune. Just desserts. Subcontract. The Pegoni. Pangolin. Pangolin. Vacuum. Vacuum. Beast and Show. Teacher's Pet, Super Duper Def Ray, Steve Longer Rep, Insight. Getting a lot of blue and white rares. Planes. Ah, BB Gun, Mythic. I think that's our first Mythic of a gun. That's a contraption. Mandary Friendship Shackles, and a Brainiac token. Here is what's on the back. It's the commander ad card. This is the card that gave me the idea. I'm like, yes! I should make a commander unset battle thing. Okay. Shaky Camel. Magic Word. Wild Crocodile. Success! Do, do, do. Vacuum. Labrobot. Reminds me of the dogs from uh, <laughs> Kingsman the Golden Circle. Super Duper Defray. Side Quest. Ah. Our first non-contraption mythic is the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. Nice forest. Quick stick lick trick. Say that three times fast. Division table. And a foil rogue. Knowledge is power.
crafty octopus. Joe Wide Rigger. Steady handed mook. Face the Mad Science Fair. Secret Base. First pick. The Rhino. Party Crasher. Grusilda Monster Masher. Cool. Cool, cool. Island. Accessories to murder. Inflation station. And a Stormcrow token. How many avian perversions do you see? in this video. Okay. Eager Beaver. Chivalrous. Chevalier. Sh I tried it. I tried to say it. <laughs> this is what happens when I try it. Oh. That was under. Accidentally grabbed two cards there. It's Zendikar, the musical. Aerial Toastmaster. Party Crusher. Zombified. Handy Dandy Clone Machine. We got a foil. Sly Spy. Which I believe there's like seven different versions of this card. So that's cool. Beautiful swamp. Gift horse, a rare. So I got two rares in this pack. And a fairy spy. Oh, hi there. I was just reading up on the latest magic news at dailymtg.com. Maybe I should have redesigned the way I was going to do this. <laughs> okay. Ground Pounder. Old Guard. Blurry Beebler. Beeble. Wrench Rigger. Selfie Pervert Preservation. Capital Offense. Beast in Show. Delighted Killbot. Was that our first kill bot of this video? Uh, Garbage Elemental. Oh, so this one, this is the one with Last Strike. Because I think each one, each Garbage Elemental has like a different ability. Uh, Contraption Cannon. Shelephant. Over my dead bodies. This card... I don't know rule-wise, but this seems very crazy. <laughs> Not exactly sure exactly how that would play out, <laughs> especially if it's a long game. Two sticks applied. And a goat. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just heading out to Friday Night Magic. In this pandemic times, how dare you? Don't you know you're supposed to be inside, saving the world that way? Next one. Goblins in a timeout. Mother Kangaroo. 
riveting rigor hazmat suit used maniac the snickering squirrel don't trust him proper laboratory attire contraption cannon again spy eye oh and a foil contraption cannon so that's two foil uncommons I've gotten. Better than one. Swamp. <laughs> Actually, I just bought it with the rare. Yeah, you're right. Two contraption cannons are better than one. Uh, duplication device. Rare contraption. And a turbo flacking auto hammer. And a spirit. Whoosh, with full art on the underside. Starting off with a really epic punch. I'm super excited for people to come over to try out my unstable, uncubed set. It's gonna be so much fun. Let me know in the comments below if you have a cube Magic the Gathering cube set of your own. And give me a five if you do. <laughs> Half shark again. And a do it yourself seraph. Cyborg angel. Awesome. Island. Treadmill. Auto key. Oh, actually, oh my gosh, what is happening here? There is a. What kind of shit stain is this? <laughs> the fuck? It's like someone spat on the card. Oh, what was the card that was under it? That was the sw uh, island, right? Yeah, the land didn't have any sort of... <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's affected. Hope my do-it-yourself serve is affected. Yeah, no, it's... There's... <laughs> No mark or anything. But what the hell is this? It almost looks like it's it's burned it. It's like texture. Like I can feel that. What the hell? This card is definitely ruined. I'm gonna put that off to the side. The back doesn't seem. Yeah, actually, no. There's a there's a little spot here. I don't know if you can see that right where my thumb is. Yeah, right there. But it's definitely more. Oh, what the hell is that? It's definitely some sort of wetness, and I don't see none of the other cards have any sort of this effect okay that's 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 weird that's a that's an anomaly and the card underneath it has no problem it looks like ah that's so weird that's the foster Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten something like that before. <laughs> uh, just, I'm thankful it wasn't a foil or a, uh, I'm just thankful it wasn't a foil or a rare or a mythic. <laughs> Ravnica, the musical. Lobe Lopper. Death Ray. Squirrel Power Scheme. A really epic punch. Awesome. Foil. I 
Oh, I'm starting to get a lot more uh, foils. <laughs> Jack Knight is our rare. Swamp for land. Fud for duds. Applied Aeronips. Nanix. Goblin. Precognition. Inaccurate responses will be punished in the comments below. My biggest regret with the unstable sets is I wish I bought them when they came out. Because buying them now, they're just so expensive. Mother Kangaroo. Do -do -do. Crafty Octopus. Who's hiring? Common Iguana. Capital Fence. Mad Science Fair Printing. Secret Base. Super Do for Death Ray. Inhumiac. Side Quest. Uh, I got another Cramped Bunker Rare. A Mountain. Dual Doom Suits for another Rare. Contraption. Boomfinger. And a Brainiac. Shaggy Camel. Willing test subject. Pro Storm Hammer Jammer Clever Combo A Free Headed Goblin is our rare Swamp Quick Stick Electric Boom Finger and a nice elemental. Old Guard, Wall of Fortune, Ground Pounder, uh, Pangolin. I hope by the end of the two packs I'm opening, I hope by the end of the two booster boxes I'm opening that I will at least have one of every card, but with the variations, uh, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Rules Lawyer, again, I'm getting a lot of double rares in these packs. Like, not two rares in one pack, but, you know, the same rare in the same box. I don't like that. I want different rares. Accessories to Murder. Auto Key. And a Fumper. Again. Yeah, I will say, it's very hard setting up a DSLR camera to film from above, especially when you don't have a, any sort of tripod that specializes in sort of downwards view. I'm using a normal tripod and so as a result it's in my way <laughs> trying to unbox this as comfortably as possible while doing this as fast as possible while also making sure everything's in frame and all that. It is a lot of hard work. So, I do appreciate any uh, likes and comments and subscribes. <laughs> please, please subscribe. I don't always do Magic the Gathering related content, but I every now and then I do like sharing. You know, whether it's me opening up something I was going to open up anyways, I might as well share it with the world. That's my thinking. I got an X. It's definitely going to make a very interesting commander. Gift Horse. Another rare. And the Inflation Station. And a zombie. Whoosh. Even scarier on the back.
Has anyone seen any good movies this year? I've only watched like I'm it's like three or four months in and I'm like I, I only watched like maybe three or four films and like one or two of them were re like movies I've already seen. I just wanted to sit down and you know relive a film. Okay, so the garbage elemental I went a little fast. Uh, Unleash is the version of that one. Steel Squirrel, Half Shark again, Watermark, Market is our rare island hypnotic swirly disc <laughs> reminds me of a certain YouTube channel that's no longer here anymore after its one year stint spirit and the back this year I've watched I finished off the Sinbad trilogy of the Ray Harahausen oh probably butchering that name, but, uh, yeah, because I started that last year, I think I watched, yeah, the first, first one, and then this year I watched those two, the <laughs> two more, more recent ones, I would say, uh, they were both, uh, weirdly great in their own rights, <laughs> I'm kind of actually surprised they didn't really made a lot more, but <laughs> granted there is some other Sinbad movies, but uh, Hammerfest Boom Testic, another very cryptic command. So that is actually a good one to get a, another one of, because as you can tell, if I remember correctly, the first ability of the other one I got was the, I think it's like scrying or something to do with free, there was the number free, so you can tell this is one of the other variations of it so that's that's a good one to get a rare of in super and super and bugs buzz bug yeah, I was supposed to say bugs bunny it's buzz <laughs> buggy they got vampire Woo. so uh, the two two Sid man movies I think it was the uh, Golden Voyage of Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger Sinbad. Uh, so those movies I've never seen before. So those are two new ones I watched in a sense this year. And then um, I rewatched because I just sort of had the craving to rewatch it. Was uh, Spider Man Far From Home? Uh, great film. Rewatching again brought back all the memories of seeing that in the theater. <laughs> and then. Um, I rewatched the Grand Budapest Hotel. So, <laughs> granted, it's been like, you know, four years since I've seen that movie, and then rewatching, I'm just reminded how awesome of a film that was. Oh, I got a foil Steam Vlogger Temp. Another uncommon foil. That's great. Clock Napper. Again, I believe that might be the second or third one I've gotten in this booster box. Uh, targeting Rocket. And a Mandatory Friendship Shackles. And a Foil Rogue. Power is at your fingertips. In terms of TV shows, there's only one that I just started watching was... Uh, uh, what was I? Actually, no, uh, two. So I, I finished watching, uh, I watched the entire season one of the, uh, Vanishing at the, uh, Cecil Hotel. Uh, it was, a, it was a pretty decent documentary. And then the, uh, I watched the, I started watching, I, <laughs> I started watching the uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes, I <laughs> finally started watching it, and I can kind of see why this show is is doing so popular and so well. Uh, I uh, am now starting to understand the JoJo memes <laughs> references. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I'm still on season one, but I'm slowly making my way through it, and it's just, it's so, <laughs> it's, it's not, like, it's a bit over the top, but it's also very, uh, oh, hot fix. <laughs> Couple seconds to fix everything. That, I don't know, that's, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, some of these cards. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty, pretty weird, I, I didn't expect it to be what like what exactly because I didn't know anything about the show except that it was popular and I know I think some of the memes like uh, the roundabout song and it's like to be continued and it's like yeah that's that's the show it's from <laughs> and so you know but the plot I wasn't expecting and where it's going and it's like wow this is <laughs> It's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of like, like because I've never I've never watched uh, Dragon Ball Z or any of them. I just feel like the show is a little bit like, <laughs> like it's it's disguised. <laughs> it's secretly a Dragon Ball Z type film where it's like you know it's all about the you know battles and it's like you know powering up and it's like how do you best someone else. It's like, it seems like that. <laughs> so, and then, you know, the zombies and vampires, like, I, I wasn't exactly... The show is very unexpected from what I, I thought it was going to be like, and uh, I like it. I, I can't wait to watch more of it. I have to actually kind of hurry because I think it's uh, leaving Netflix Canada by the end of March, or before, just before. So I, I don't know, should I just binge watch it all, or should I just wait and pick up it on Blu-ray? So many questions. Anyways. But then that's basically it. Most of my rest of my time, I'm, I'm working on my... I'm making great progress towards my Let's Talk About This series. I actually see the end in sight for that video that I've been working on for, oh gosh, I keep, I don't even remember when I started, it was like 2017, 2018, oh, the first episode, it's only the first episode, the second episode I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna not take as long, I'm definitely gonna try to get it, them out much more faster. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I've been working on a major YouTube video for the last several years. Uh, basically, the first episode is on uh, Ruby Volume 4, but I am... Like, the whole point of the Let's Talk About This series is just my version of sort of like a video essay or a rant and just sort of putting it out there and then sort of getting people's responses and then doing, you know, sort of a follow-up video to it. And I, I'm, you know, I'm going to use that as a stepping stone to talk about, you know, like movies or stuff that I, you know, stuff that isn't as critically acclaimed, TV shows or stuff like that, or stuff that where it's like, oh, we need to, I feel we need to talk about this. I got the everything in my jig, rare. This one, I can't remember exactly what are the differences, but there is there is variations of that card, definitely. And so, originally after Ruby Volume 4, I was going to do an episode on the Ghost in the Shell remake, because I'm like, <laughs> I'm still a little... I still remember my experience of seeing that in theaters, and I was like, yeah, I kind of really want to rant about this film in a sense, but it's like a part of me is now definitely after several years have kind of lost that fire, so I don't know if I would do that. Uh, and then the episode after that was supposed to be... Oh, what episode was supposed to be? It was supposed to be... Oh, yeah, I was going to do it on The Last Jedi <laughs> for the third episode of my Let's Talk About This series, but I, I'm going to... I'm gonna just, you know, see, I'm gonna get the, get the first episode done, and then from there, think about what I am gonna do 
for the next uh, second episode. Obviously, in the future, I would then do a response video with my on my first episode. Depending on how people respond, I assume I assume it's gonna be a dead video. I assume it's gonna hit. It's gonna not do well at all, and then it's just gonna just die. <laughs> Cause I mean, at this point, Ruby Volume Four is like you know four or five years ago. So it's like at this point, it's like it's just <laughs> the topic has passed. <laughs> And people are always talking about generally the more newer seasons. And it's like, I haven't watched any of the newer seasons because I'm still in uh, a Ruby lockdown for, you know, viewing content. Ooh, got a, a Mythic Rapic Prototyper. Cool. That's, that seems powerful. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting because my response video will definitely also feature... Uh, me going through the new newer seasons and just sort of well, giving my opinion on that as well. Another clue stone, but anyways, in terms of Magic: The Gathering, uh, clue stones are without a doubt the worst tokens ever made. Prove me wrong in the comments below. No, I'm just kidding. What is the worst token ever made in Magic: The Gathering? <laughs> like both either mechanically or design or the thought process behind it like let me know in the comments below what do you think what's what's the worst token in magic the gathering history either flavor or mechanics or whatever secret base no made engine the water Kindly Cognetic, Steam Powered, Mary O'Kill, making her, I believe, first appearance in this video, Targeting Rocket, Auto Key, and a Green White Elemental. Look at that face. Oh, I'm so excited to play Magic the Gathering with my friends. As soon as this pandemic is over and people can hang out again, and that's gonna be so much fun. Catching up, reminiscing about oh, remember in lockdown when we were all by ourselves and <laughs> waiting to live, waiting to die. <laughs> oh man, numbing jellyfish, bumping paradigm. Amateur helper, go to jail. Another no name engine, slaying mantis. I think at this point I have a playset of those from just this booster box. Clock of doom. Another handy dandy clone machines. Wow, compared to my first un unstable unboxing that I did. I am getting so many doubles <laughs> in in the terms of just in the same within the same booster box. Record store, which is one of my favorite contraptions. And a gnome. A gnome. Aesthetics. Hope everyone is enjoying the video, and I have it set up in such a way that it's you can read the cards and all that jazz. And granted, this is an older set, so I figure. Granted, the set's only a couple years old, so uh, might be still fresh in a lot of people's minds of what's in the set. Or maybe you're more new to the set, like me. <laughs> There's uh, Crux others, <laughs> other fum, which I believe is that's a reference to another older Magic: The Gathering card. Monkey, masterful ninja. I'm still looking. I'm still looking for him. He, he's somewhere in there. I just can't can't see him in the art. He could be almost anywhere. Planes. 
lacquery recycle and a division table and another green white elemental I always think when I see the stinging scorpion that it's a singing scorpion. <laughs> it's the singing scorpion. Watch out. Clever combo. Another Mario kill. Planes. Treadmill without the blob <laughs> of gunk on it. Uh, Construct. Ooh, I didn't see you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Hummingbird. Blurring people. Do, do, do. Target Minotaur, Inhuman, Humanek, Monkey, don't you always wanted a monkey? Phoebe, Head of Sneak, another mythic, got Forest, Arms Depot, Top Secret Tunnel, five boosters left of this booster box. Out of all the cards on the set, the one that I would really like to get foil is uh, the countdown is at one. I really like that card. Like the art and everything, and I think foiled would just look amazing. Gracious vacuum. Night of the kitchen sink. Crow storm. Another half shark. This might be the most common uh, of the augmations ones we've been getting. Ah, oh, split screen. That's another another favorite of mine. When it enters the battlefield. I love the. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to play with this card. Can't even imagine what a commander deck using split screen would be like. Hard hat area is our mythic for. Contraptions, Twiddle Slick Charger, a non snickering squirrel token. Oh, the technology to rebuild them all within my grasps. Oh, no, this is, a, this is the fifth pack. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, this is the fifth pack. So, oh, I guess we started off with the foil elemental token. Crafty Octopus. Oh wait, that means we got a second foil. Awesome. Because I just saw a foil there. Uh, do, do, do. Sacrifice Play, Dirty Rat. Extremely Slow Zombie, I believe that's Autumn or Spring. Then a Sprocketeer, Midlife Upgrade, Half Orc, Half uh, whatever. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. These, apparently, a foiled full art land, full art land from Unstable, is apparently like, I think it's one per booster box case. So it's like, it's not like you get one every booster box or one every two or three booster boxes. It's literally a case of booster box. There might be one. <laughs> That's how rare it is. So that is like, I think, a $50 card, I think. 
So I'm going to definitely be putting that in a sleeve right away. <laughs> Module uh, Monstrosity. Or rare. Oh, you actually get two lands when uh, when one's foiled. That's cool. Mountain. Sephiroth Siphon and a Division Table. There you go. I definitely had to sleeve that right away. Amazing. Definitely not going to see something like that again. <laughs> Last four packs of this booster box. Really epic punch. Hummingbird. Bluey Beeble. A common iguana, which I don't remember getting earlier, so... <laughs> so I guess that iguana is not as common. <laughs> Crowstorm. Hammerfest Boomtacular. Ah, oh, there we go. Spike Tournament Grinder. Ah, uh, fun card. Choose a card you own from outside the game that's been banned or restricted in construction for it. Reveal that card and put it in your hand. Ah, uh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> such chaos, such fun. Oaken Power Suit. And Applied Aeronautics and a Zombie. Okay, Wild Crocodile, Success, Merman, Worker Double, has been seen. Target Minotaur, Ah, Sly Spy, you're the one I got a foil of. But are you the same one? Uh, creature facing left in the art. One of the variations, again, strikes again. Overt Operation. Op Operative Knight of the Widget. Oh, I got a foil. Go to jail. Awesome. And they got Angelic Rocket. Speeding to the finish line. Forest. Dispatch Dispensary. Inflation Station. And a Vampire. I want to suck your blood. Uh -huh. Second last pack. Here we go. Multi head. Time out. Give me something new. Give me something I don't have. Time mentor. Druid of the Sacred Beacon. Robo. Old fashioned vampire and a foil shaggy camel. Wow, I got a lot of foils in this pack. And uh, two mythics of the do it yourself ser seraphon. That's the, I believe that's the second one I got. Or is that the third? Hold on. I had to check this out. So, forest, dog snail engine, and sap sucker, and a sappering for the first time this video. But still, the same Mythic and the same booster box is quite, I believe it's quite rare. Anyways, last booster of this box, and then it's on to box number two. It is Jellyfish. Frame. Really epic punch. Do, do, do. Come on, give me something good. Something I want. Something I don't know I need, but I want or I need. And, oh, I don't know. Half orc. 
as luck would have it. X proof. Oh uh, man, I I don't think eh. you would have to really be really good at picking your cards to get this to trigger, especially in a limited format island. And it looks like duplication device is our final rare of this booster box. Jamming device and a beast token. Ooh. Time to clean up and go to box number two. We're back. Okay. Here we go. New booster box. Let's see what we get. Ordinary Pony is our first common of the new box. Okay, am I? Oh, there we go. Sorry, my my uh, viewfinder or my view for what the uh, stuff looks like is a little bit all sideways, so it's uh, kind of hard to see just how <laughs> how it is. We've got Squirrel Dealer, Shaggy, shaggy Camel. Beast and Show, Shelephant, Uncommon, Stamp of Approval, Crow Storm, making its fabulous return. Oh, another Spike Tournament. Well, first first rare of this box, but it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad to get more of them. But I, I think the, there's the other uh, human gamer rares in this set, isn't there? I believe there is. Is there not? Targeting rocket and a goblin foil with the precognition test. Okay. Almost like we got a vampire token. Wrench rigger. Selfie proof. Preservation. Preservation. Really epic punch. Hummingbird. I am being a very mess for some reason. <laughs> Curious Killbot. Shittering Doom. There's Clark's uh, uh, Clark's other foam. Teacher's Pet. By no means is our rare. Top Secret Tunnel. And a Foiled Vampire. Ooh. Token. It's doing so well the first box. Why am I screwing up now? <laughs> it's probably on the position of everything. See, I, j I just changed the position of where the box is, and it's like where the boosters are, and it's like now everything's just a complete mess. Wild Crocodile. Capital Fence. Oh, usuals. Come on. Give me something good. Adorable kit. Did I even get you last booster box? Must have gotten at least one, right? Another crow storm. Steel squirrel. Squirrel power scheme. <gasps> and a foil contraption of sapsucker. This is the first uh, foil contraption I've gotten in this video. Damn, that actually looks very good with the art. I love it. And then and every thingamajig. Not sure if I have this specific version of it, but uh, hopefully it is another version. <laughs> Don't want the same version. And I, I got Sapsucker again. That's <laughs> that's so weird. That's like the uncommon. You get the uncommon or the non-foil version of it as well. And then Refibration, another rare, and a the same beautiful fomper from the last video. Okay. Finders keepers. Let's get this in frame. Mitchell. Feisty Sagasaurus. A used hat mat suit. Be careful when touching that. Well, 
go look at the success. Ah, oh, secret base. I'm actually surprised how uncommon it is to get the secret base. Steam powered, probably my favorite augment front. Not for its ability, but it's a choo-choo train. I like choo-choo trains. The big idea is our rare Brainiac villain. Quick stick. Lick trick and the record store. Oh yeah. So for this second half of the video, I'm also doing, in case you haven't seen it on the screen already, a counter to see which booster bunks had the better amount of stuff. And, uh, okay, so this is definitely a uh, double print error where it's, it's a thicker... Everything seems like it's doubled in terms of uh, printing. Box of free range goblins, spell suck, mad science fair. Yeah, some of these you can kind of tell, and some of these you can't really tell. It happens, it happens now and then. Clock of Doom, Midlife Upgrade, and a split screen which doesn't look like it has that printing error. So that's good. And a goblin slingshot. So I got two rares in that pack, awesome. Got the elemental. Dirty rat. Box of free range goblins by mistake. <laughs> Multi headed. Timeout. Shaggy Kill. Common Iguana. Old fashioned Vampire. Arrowfest Boutin. Chittering Doom. It Insight. Inflation Station. And a deadly poison sampler. And a elemental. Numbing jellyfish. Snickering squirrel. Box of free range goblins. Spell sunk. Old guard. Wall of fortune. Ground pounder. Extremely slow zombie, I believe that's spring again. Spy eye. Garbage em 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 Jeez. Speak words, Mitchell. <laughs> this is the one with Cascade. Awesome. I don't think I have that version yet. Staff of Letter Mangus. Clock Napper, uh, which is starting to be a very common rare. Got the Dictation, Quilliquif, and a Gnome Ball Machine. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, let me know in the comments below, uh, which pack do you think I got a better deal out of so far? Like, which one has the most value? <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards the first one, just because the first box had so many foils. Secret Base, which is the Sneak version. Agent of Sneak. Kindly Cognition. Trevor Combo. Proper Library. And Hydra Doodle, making its first appearance of this video. Applied Aeronautics. And a Oakened Power Suit. And a Foil Suffering Token. I'm a plate. And also, I don't think this box is going to get a foil land. I mean, especially considering from what I've heard how rare it is to get a foil land. <laughs> so, I think the 
first box right just just on the foil land alone makes it probably the best of the two boxes. Wrench Rigger, Multi Headed Hydra, Target Mentor, Steam Powered, Skull Saucer. That's not uncommon. I thought, I thought that was a rare. Never mind. Angelic Rocket, Top Secret Tunnel, a FUD for Duds, and a Sapering Foil. Getting a lot of Saperings in this box. But then again, I did get the Foil Sap Sucker. So that's why I'm getting so many sapperlings. Ha ha, get it? Sap. Subscribe for some more non-funny jokes. And content that's not only Magic the Gathering related. Like, I generally always work towards movies. Movies is the main thing I do in this channel. And then sometimes games. And this would be a gaming category, Magic the Gathering. But I also do video games and maybe some board games in the future. Who knows? So, subscribe if you like movies and games. <laughs> and if you kind of like my personality. <laughs> Which I kind of don't, because my personality sucks. <laughs> uh, Masterful Ninja, he's gone. I'm never going to see him, am I? Auto Key, Boomflinger, and a Foil Zombie. I don't think I remember getting so many spell sucks in the uh, last booster box. Ah, I got the winter extreme, s extremely slow zombie. Drool of the sacred beaker, side quest, uh, cramped, cramped bunker, and a brainiac token record store. Getting a lot of Richard stories <laughs> in this booster box. At this point of the video, my exhaustion is sort of <laughs> starting to leak through because I don't really feel like talking. I just kind of want to finish this vid video at this point. So I apologize for lack of energy at this point, maybe. Module Monster, Division Table, Gift Horse is a, a rare for Contraption, and a Foil Squirrel. Of course a Foil Squirrel. We're about five boosters away from the midway point of this box. I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, but I do have a wall commander deck that I've been working on. Oh, I got a foil skull saucer for the second uh, foil that isn't token in this video. Or a second foil in the uh, booster box, second one. Mario Kill making her first appearance of this booster box. And a BB gun. Mythic. Yeah, so almost halfway through this box, I've only gotten two foils that aren't uh, tokens for this box, where I think, I think halfway through the other box, I got at least three or four foils. I can't exactly remember specifics, but... No main engine. At this point, I believe we've seen every single common. Oh, <laughs> correction. That's the first of the uh, the goblin uh, leader ones, or the, uh, what is it? 
explosion ears. So, I don't know if we've seen every variation of the common one at this point, but uh, I feel like we've seen every common over my dead bodies again, making its miraculous return from the other previous bunks. Another applied, another auto key, and a dragon. Let's see what we get. Flippy over squirrel dealer. Uh, love liquor. <laughs> it's only a one cost too. No made engine again. Wow. Okay. Anything? Anything new or seems new? Half shark. Night of the kitchen sink. Oddly uneven. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's, yeah, so that's not, I don't think that's a variant card. And, uh, accessories to murder and a beast. Ark, I'm a beast. And I also feel like at this point we've seen every token. I believe, I can't remember off the top of my head if we would be missing one. Because I feel like we've gotten everyone. We got the fairy, we got the uh, goat, we got the squirrel. Really epic punch. Common iguana. Looks like it's been double printed. Target minotaur. Inhumanic. Goblin haberdasher. Druid of the sacred baker. Sleem flogger of the bump. Is our rare uh, quill guest list, which I think might be the first appearance of that. Yeah, it's a rare guest list, and the squirrel. Remember, inaccurate responses in the comments will be punished. Two left, and then we're on to the last half of this booster box. Suit, Paniac, Snickering Squirrel, Mad Science Fair, blah blah blah, Zendigar the Musical, Monkey, Robo, Ro <laughs> We got free of the front arc augmentations in the same pack. That's funny. As luck would have it, you're right. As luck would have it, we got free augmentations in the single pack. Buzz Buggy. Dog snail engine, and then a elemental burning down everything. Subcontract, bubbling pango. Who have we not seen yet? Chevrolet, Nova doll. Postmaster, five finger discount. Don't remember seeing you in this video. And an entirely normal armchair. Okay, I definitely don't remember seeing you. So, Jack Knight is our rare, followed by Lacquery Recycle, Jamming Device, and El Elemental Shiny. Okay, on to the halfway. Here we go. 18 more packs to go. <laughs> Which is, I believe, the halfway point. Yeah, 18 plus 18 is 36, right? Or am I wrong? <laughs> Math is no good to me. <laughs> Test subject. Google Kitten. Capital Fence. Just as I was stupid to do. Yeah, the double printing seems a little... Oh, half kitten. That's the other half of the kitten. Uh, kind Slaver. And then Division 10 and Genetic Recombination and Foil Zombie Dude. 
I've been filming so long with this video that <laughs> at this rate I, I think I'm actually kind of losing it. I keep second guessing my setup like did I screw up? Did I do something wrong? Like I screwed up on my just watched uh, Marnie review and oh I feel so bad because it's like ah the whole second half of the video is, is out of focus because like I believe when during the review I actually play our after I watched the movie, I refocused it, and or I might have actually touched the camera in such a way that it screwed it up, and then I'm just like, ah, I didn't realize until I was editing, and then it's like, by then, it's too late. The damage was done. But it's definitely not the worst <laughs> review sort of mistake or error I had to deal with. Oh, I got a foil merman! Hell yeah! In sight, inflation station, the power suit, rare and elemental. Sounds like ad card! Adorable kitten. Bubbling pangolo. Go to jail. Okay, Pharaoh's the musical. Yeah, we got that one already. Rumors of my death. I don't think we've gotten this one yet. Clock of Doom, we know we've gotten. I definitely got a place set of those at this point. Half Orc. Uh, Steam Flogger Boss. Got the inflation station and a optimal optimizer and goblet. In here, bonus. Spell suck. You suck the spell out of me. Shrink me down. Magic word. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Extremely slow zombie. This is the spring version. Spring or autumn? Might be autumn. I have a hard time telling some of the the seasons apart. <laughs> Side quest: suspicious nanny. I don't trust her. Oh, another slice by. Whenever slice by deals common damage to player, rolls six and die. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten this version. So. Ineffable Blessing. This one's also, I believe, another variant one. So this is the version with um, Chosen Artist. Draw a card. Treadmill. Turbo Wolf Fucking Auto Hammer. And a Foily Elemental. Okay, capital offense, wrench rigor, magic wood, success, dirty rat, box of the rain, the Ravnica, the musical version, uh, zombified, monkey, and an entirely normal armchair. Summon the pack, yes, this is a good mythic. Eight costs, open a sealed magic booster and reveal the cards and put all creature cards and reveal the sway onto the battlefield under your control. There's zombies in addition to their other types. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Get that to trigger off. That'd be amazing. Total sick charger. Widget contraption. Uncommon and a foil angel. Slice by, but he's the the art is the opposite way now. 
So I believe I don't have this version as well. Because I think the other free versions I've gotten were uh, flipped the other way. So I would have to check that out. If I got a free headed goblin, uh, boom flinger, dispatch, dispens dispensary, and the angel. Oh. Surprise, I haven't got the countdown as that one. Well, I'm foiled. Eager Beaver. Really a punch. Okay, so that's definitely the fall. The fall uh, extreme slow zombie. Rumors of my death. Druid. Graveyard Busybody. All graveyards are also your graveyards. <laughs> ah, shenanigans. Boom Flinger. And a deadly poison sampler. And a goat. Don't forget the goat. Mr. X for his second appearance in this video. Division table. And Fairy Airy. Mythic Contraption. A very powerful contraption. Oh man, I hope this video isn't too long. <laughs> and I hope everybody's been enjoying it so far. like he's been pounded with the double printing. <laughs> Old guard, finders, keepers. Half squirrel, half, uh, not sure. <laughs> Uncommon, buzzing wackadoodle, aerial toast there. And a box of free range goblins that's foiled. Awesome. Oh, I got the rare uh, Serpentine. Serpentine! Buzz Buggy. And a Spirit again. Let's open the pack on camera, Mitchell. Oh, I'm almost, it's almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boosters, including this one. Oh, let's see, are we gonna get something crazy? Near the end. Let's find out. self impersonations subcontract. The usual suspects are here. Beast and Show, which I also believe it's a... Yeah, there's variations. That one as well. Uh, midlife Upgrade, Five Finger Discount, and Rules Lawyer making his second... Second or third appearance in this video, I can't remember. Uh, division table and vampire. Ah, uh, something good, something crazy, something weird. Mother kangaroo. Hazmat suit used. Next slide, grab the hammer. Hammer helper. Base, sprocket year, stamp of approval, old buzzbark, mythic goblin warrior, cool, quick stink, and a 
a mythic pet project. A double mythic pack. And a gnome. Flummery, first pick, Lab Robot, and the non promo art Earl of Squirrel. Awesome. And I got Inflation Station, Hypnotic Swirly Disc, and a Fairy Spy token. I've been playing a decent amount of Fuser lately on my spare time, and I they recently updated the game with. Uh, some royalty free or music that won't get you taken down on YouTube or Twitch or whatever and uh, they added it to the game for free and uh, there's this one song that's sort of uh, I think it's back back to the start or back from the start and uh, it's, it's kind of stuck in my head <laughs> we back from the start back to the start Go, go. Ooh, Animate Library. Oh, I can't wait to play with this card. <laughs> There's so many so many cards where I'm like, yeah, can't wait to see what happens with that. Boom Flinger, Dictation, and Rogue. But yeah, Fuser's good. <laughs> as far as music mixing games goes, yeah, it gives you a lot of stuff that you can do. In some point in the future, I kind of do want to review... Uh, Fuser, Drop Mix, and Rock Band 4 in one video. Sort of do like a comparison thing and all that. And uh, so many projects and things I want to do for YouTube, but then it's like at the same time, I'm like, I feel like I'm so run down just trying to get as many things done as possible and just so that way I can, you know, do well, I feel. <laughs> Because it's like, oh, I'll, I'll, every time I go like a week without posting a video or longer, it just, it just, oh, it digs at me and I'm just like, oh, Innistrad the musical. Uh, but it just, it just, it kind of tears me apart because I'm like, oh, I should be posting a video every day, every week, you know. It's a lot of work. And you could end up like me where, you know. <laughs> 12 years of YouTube and I've only gotten 300 well, I haven't even got 300 yet <laughs> I'm on my way to 300 anyways I got a rapid prototyper mythic con uh, contraption getting a lot of mythic contraptions actually yeah I, I always try my best when it comes to YouTube like there's so many videos I made where it's like yeah I kind of screwed up here or there or whatever and Maybe I should have done things differently or whatever, and, and, and just, you know, I, I try my best in every video. Some videos, yeah, I put more effort than others, but, you know, it, like, there's <laughs> one video I, you know, I worked on for several months, and it's only gotten, like, a thousand views where, you know, no, oh, that's actually a bad example. <laughs> There's one video I've worked on where it's like, you know, I spent a long amount of time, but it didn't get, you know, like over a course of like a month or two, it would only get like, you know, it didn't even, it got like, you know, a couple hundred views, but then it's like a video I worked on like in a day and completed, and it's like that shoots up to like, you know. 600 views 700 views and it's like wow you know the one i put <laughs> i worked on really really fast and just pushed out there got more views than the video i actually worked you know more hard at and it's a, it's a it's a bit of a random struggle with me because <laughs> it's like you know you gotta when it comes to youtube you gotta stop looking at the numbers and it's kind of hard because every time you log in, you're like, yeah, I want to check. How's, how's my videos doing? 
I've started to try not to care, and then it's like every now and then it gets, you know, it comes back, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta see how well I'm doing, and all that. And it's, uh, anyways, we're down to the last, last free packs of the video. I hope everyone's enjoyed this video. The shocking truth will be revealed probably yeah might as well start it right now in case you haven't noticed <laughs> anything this long into the video or you're screaming it in the comments down below but uh, this is this second booster pack is actually a repack that I bought off of eBay yeah, it's not actually an official sealed pack. Uh, if it wasn't made obvious at this some point in this video. But the first pack was legit. First booster box was legit. Uh, this one is one I got off of eBay uh, for a much, much cheaper price. The only catch is that uh, the person doing the repacks... Uh, they get to keep all the lands in the video, the lands in the booster box, and uh, one or two foils uh, if they wanted for their collection or whatever. So, and I was like, you know what? It's such a low price that I decided, you know, if I get both, I'm going to take a look at both and just sort of be like, which is the better deal? So I'm going to total everything up if uh, you don't see it on screen right now last two packs let's see if it's able to the repack is a better or worse value than buying a sealed booster box today for unstable and i'm starting to think i already know my answer and which one's the better deal but let me know oh look at that a foil labro bot Awesome. So, I've gotten one, two, three, four, five foils that aren't uh, tokens. And I got another better, is one, better than one. And I got another mythic, inflation and or hard hat or area. So, I apologize if you, if anybody is thinking that I am jipping them on this video. Uh, a little yes and no because it's it's I'm I didn't do the repack, um, and I'm not doing this for views and being like yo look I got like ten mythics in one pack, uh, or anything like that. I just honestly, happy April Fool's Day. I just wanted to see what you guys uh what would be well I wanted to share with you guys what is the better deal this repack or that because i wanted a bulk lot of cards and the lands was i feel to be the thing that's making these set this set so expensive and so by buying the repack for a much much cheaper price just by getting rid of the lands it's like i i i don't know which one's the better deal i'm gonna have to take a look <laughs> at the total but yeah so as you can see the person I bought from eBay, who who told like I bought it under the impression it is repacked without the land, so he carefully cut it open, uh, take out the the one land and possibly see if maybe there's a better foil or a foil that he doesn't have yet, which I'm okay with. The foils are so rare in the set, I don't really care uh, about the foils that much. Uh, granted, there's might be one or two cards that I want to foil from, but as you can see, he taped it back up. Uh, well, put the cards back in, obviously taped it back up. And I, I kind of like this. I think I might actually go back if I if I do need more cards from Unstable. Getting a repack is so much more cheaper than buying a brand new one. And opening them up, it's like they're very like. Obviously, they wouldn't be in backwards like that. That was uh, the person put it back in 
I believe, the wrong way. But these are seem to me to be legit cards, and they're and look at that! I got a foil hangman. Rare. That's amazing. And the countdown is at one for my final rare of the pack. Oh, okay. Correction. Hard hat area again seems to be a very common common mythic. <laughs> um so that that's pretty cool. <laughs> so countdown is at one. And so I'm <laughs> guess I'll share what I the video is like now. <laughs> so as you can see, this is where I've been sitting. <laughs> and so when I'm opening the video, I'm basically my hand, one hand's here, one hand's around this way, unpacking the packs to get it. So <laughs> obviously I still haven't figured out a good way of doing this properly. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here to see. So... I have been separating everything accordingly. So, here is everything I got from a normal booster box of Unstable, sealed proper. I really lucked out by getting a foil swamp, which does make... The value of that box was a lot more. That was the biggest hit I got here. That's like a $50 card. But in the terms of the foils, to sum up the results quickly and not make this a two hour long video, the official sealed booster box contained seven foils, including the full art land. While the repack had seven foils, including the promo card, which you're technically only supposed to get if you buy a box. In the terms of normal rares, you got 32 from the sealed booster box, eight of which are duplicates from the same box, four mythics, and one of them being a duplicate. In the terms of the repack, you get 35 normal rares, one of them being foil. Out of all the normal rares, only one was a duplicate. Two mythics, zero duplicates. The official sealed booster box contained for the contraption cards, 11 of them were rares, four of which are duplicates from the same box. Three mythics, zero duplicates. The repack contained 12 contraption rares, two of which are duplicates from the same box, six mythics, one duplicate. So here is a grand total of everything I unboxed in the two boxes. Basically, in total, for box one, including shipping and handling, the total cost was $340 Canadian. Box two, the total cost was $78 Canadian. Which is the better deal? Because I feel like... Yeah, I, it's awesome. I got the you know full art lands and the one foil land, but is that really worth an extra hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars, two hundred and fifty? Where the repack, I was I was more than happy what I got. The cards were in all in great condition. Um, the one card that was in the sealed pack had that. Oh, I can't even see that. Look at that. What is that? So. This video has been an experiment. I hope you got some data out of this, and I really enjoyed it. In fact, I might actually buy another repack, but first I'm going to have to go through all these cards and just make sure, because I, I don't know, I might have to, I might just buy the signals instead of just buying more booster box, because I feel like I've gotten enough of the cards to complete my cube set to where I want it, and to also make the several commander decks. So anyways... I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whenever. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out my other videos. I don't always do Magic the Gathering related content, but uh, every now and then I like sharing. So I'm sharing.
You're welcome.